today on Papa G's trees. Come with me into my very own backyard to look at some beautiful fall foliage. So grab a spot of tea and come along with me. <coughs> no, we're gonna talk about how a rookie painter like me painted my dad's old truck in a homemade paint booth. Come on, let's go. This is my dad's 1993 Chevrolet Mark III conversion truck. It had some typical bumps and bruises from the years on the front end. So my first step was to remove all the damaged parts, which included both front fenders, the hood, the front grill, the bumper. We found out that the radiator support was rusted through, as was the right front fender well. So all those had to be removed and replaced. And this is the finished product when all the body panels were put back together and ready to get started with body work and then eventually painting the truck. Here you see some welding that I had to do where this thing had one of those bed covers with snaps. So we had to sand them down and weld up all the holes as well as some general scratches and minor bumps and bruises that a 20 something year old truck will have. Coming around the driver's side, there was a few dings. Really had a good body on it. Look, it was in excellent shape. A few dings, you see a small dent there. There's a little bit larger dent, but was no problem at all. Uh, just, oh, the fiberglass uh, spoilers and ground effects had some cracks and some little spots that needed some attention with some uh, fiberglass filler. There's a, a chip out of the edge that were patched up. Another crack along the backside. Uh, nothing really major. Now here you see the truck after I've done my first little bit of body work, just filling some little door dings and holes sanding it and then filling it again. There's the passenger side, what little bit it had. And then here we're at my shop, big building. Uh, we removed the bed and there's the truck sitting outside. And here's the uh, bed in some little dollies that I built to hold the bed and roll it around on. I've gotten my primer on and I'm about to start uh, blocking and sanding. I got the primer on the tailgate here looking pretty smooth uh, you can see in the background some of the lighting fixtures I built for the paint booth here's the uh, driver's side we had a few dents there around the gas panel but nothing major again it was in really good shape all right now we're set up I've got my 12 by 12 easy up tent. I put on some three mil plastic. Got a filter on the back side and a vent fan on the other. We're ready to go paint. I went with a Velvet Red Pearl by PPG Shopline Plus. I just love the dark, rich, burgundy color of it all. When the sun hits it, it really pops. It's a metallic. It's now the next morning and painting has begun. As you see here, the first coat, the first two coats is on. And I'm gonna show you a spot where my uniform hit the paint while it was still wet. Right there, I don't know if you can see those scuffs, but I have a problem with that. And then at the last pass of the bed, I tripped over one of the cords. And as you can see, I have a run there. I later learned how to fix that run and got it all smoothed out and it came out okay. Um, first time mistakes, but there's the bed after it's painted and dried and I remounted the side spoilers. Now here is a look at the lower valance, painted it in a satin black and also the new grill that's going on the truck is the 96 style which i like better than the older ones and there i painted the louvered part with the satin black 
and taped up the rest of it. Now here's a look at the old bumper. I started to get a new bumper, but I thought, you know what? There's only a couple of dings in this one. I will fix it and we will just paint it and I bought new plastic for it. Now you're seeing the grill back on the dial on the stands. There's the plastic side pieces to the front bumper, the lower skirt on the front uh, grill. There's the sport mirrors all taped up. Everything's been scuffed and sprayed with plastic adhesive, paint adhesive, and it's sitting around the booth. I'm at this point ready to put the plastic back up and begin spraying all these smaller pieces. Now here you see in the finished product, the grill, one of the mirrors, the passenger side mirror, and I got this piece of sand or something stuck in the paint. It's huge, as you can see from the side profile. I, I don't know what that was. Uh, and then I'm just showing you around the room here at everything that's painted and clear coated. Each item had three coats of paint and three coats of clear. I know it's a little bit overkill, but I wanted a good thick clear coat so I could sand properly and, and cut and buff because I knew with this type of paint booth, I would be dealing with some dust. And in here, you're gonna see the final mirror. It came out really nice. It's a beautiful color. I'm showing it off in the sunlight. Uh, and then I go over here to the grill. Again, it's the, the style grill that came on the 96 uh, model. I just like it better with that center piece being a little wider and contoured and I really like having the everything the burgundy color except for the bow tie now on this shot we've started on the cab of the truck or I have and we've, I've gotten it primered with the first coat and I put a guide coat on it and block and X sanded it to try to find any little ripples or small defects showing off the the other side I haven't sanded and block block sanded it yet or the hood. I know I went a little heavy on the guide coat, but hey, it's the first time for doing everything. So I'm just showing that off and I'm about to get underway with the major part of the truck, taping up everything, removing all the rubber and taped up the door jams, scuffed them all good with uh, burgundy scotch bright and cleaned real good with wax and grease remover and i'm going to paint it the next morning so i should be good to go there and then there's some photos of the painting there'll be some video coming up shortly um, you will see in the videos some dust and specks well by this time it was late march and in north carolina it's pollen season and without being able to put the back wall on the tent because the truck cab is so large, I had an open back wall and I just got a lot of pollen in it. But it's nothing that some cutting and buffing didn't take out afterwards, a lot of work. Here I'm showing you the cab. There you can see a little bit of orange peel, some dust specks, likely pollen. I was really amazed and how much pollen was out at that point. But around here, that's prime season. And showing you the front fenders, the doors, really just trying to show off the handiwork. I think we get a shot of the front bumper. It was tight in that booth. That's a 12 by 12 easy up tent. But by the time you put plastic down and you put those lights, it, it gets really tight and plus, you know, uh, my first time doing it, I was really concentrating on keeping my white uniform, dust cover uniform off of the paint. So I'm still showing you the door. Paint's a lot of work, but it's very fulfilling. This is the first vehicle I've ever done. Probably be the only one I ever do, but I wanted to do it because it's my dad's truck and it just made me uh, 
appreciate it more by doing it myself. There's a shot of me from outside the building with my tent and my paint booth up. You see how foggy it got in there because that's just not the proper ventilation. Now here you're looking at the hood. I've gotten the truck out of the booth and this is days later. I've gotten a lot of small pieces in there. That's the side spoilers, the cow, uh, the uh, trailer hitch cover there. I painted the whole thing and then sanded it off so that the only thing left burgundy was the, the indention parts. More of the cow, more of the hood. Not trying to make you dizzy with this video. I had no intentions of making a a YouTube video out of it. I was just documenting stuff and sending it to my brother for a basic report. There's the center part of the cow. It goes right at the windshield. And then there's the other right side side skirts, the fiberglass. One more look at the hood. I was really proud of the hood. Came out very well. I do have a little, I think what they call modeling on the left side over there, the driver's side, you can probably catch a glimpse of it, which is kind of like a tiger striping pattern in metallics. Most people won't even pay any attention, but okay, now comes the real work of cutting and buffing. And I'm back at my house with the truck out here on a Saturday morning and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and it just turned into many, many hours of rubbing and cutting and buffing, making a heck of a mess. I know a lot of you professionals out there will say, oh my Lord, but when you're new at all of it, I, I, I made quite a mess. I, I had to wash that truck over and over again. Okay, and then I'm doing the rims. I took the aluminum rims and scuffed them up and hit them with some adhesion stuff and Sprayed them with some gloss black. And here's the finished product that my fiance is pulling out. The bed liner's still not sprayed in yet. I'll do that at a later date, but it is done now. She gave us a little wave there. She was helping me with the yard work and stuff. Okay, now here's the, the truck as it sits now. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for future videos. Leave us a comment down below. And as always, we will catch you in the next edition of Papa G's World. Hey, y'all looking at my truck? Looks good, darling.